Hi students, let us continue with the asynchronous data transfer. So in the previous video, I explained about the basic concept of asynchronous data transmission. Now let us see the methods that are used in asynchronous data transmission. So the first method that is the uh, strobe control data transfer. So what is the strobe control? Actually, the strobe control method of data transmissions uses a, it uses a single control signal it uses only single control signal for each transfer for each transfer it indicates some one single control signal that control signal you call it as a strobe whenever you are transmitting one data unit you are indicating with a strobe control signal that is a single control signal for each transfer so the strobe may be two types source initiated source initiated strobe and destination initiated strobe so let us see what is the strobe initiated and destination initiated i am writing here only uh, both so that you will understand source initiated strobe and destination initiated strobe So here the name itself is saying that a signal, the sig uh, single control signal is initiated by source at the same time that control signal is initiated by destination. From source, source is initiating, destination in initiating. So that is the only difference between these two. Okay. So let's see the source initiated stroke. Here the data bus carries binary information from source to destination. So, this is a source and this is a destination. Here, the data bus is carrying a bit of 8 bits of data. Suppose, it, let us take a data bus carries a binary information, zeros and ones, from source to destination, along with the strobe signal. So, here the source initiated the strobe. So, this is a source. It is initiating the strobe. What it means? So, here the strobe informs to the destination unit when a valid data word is available in the bus. Means, here the data bus contains a valid data. Only the valid data will be sent from source to destination. So, that is intimating to by the strobe. The strobe signal is just saying that a data is there on the data bus. That is a valid data is there on the data bus to the destination. Okay. So, this is the just information. Uh, let me take the timing diagram for this. A timing diagram. So, here the first source, source unit first place data on bus. So, first the source unit is placed data on bus. Here the data is placed on bus. So, which is a valid data. So, whenever it plays data on bus, next, after a brief delay, to ensure that the data settled to, uh, settle to a steady value, the source activates the, the source activates the strobe pulse. So, next the strobe signal will be sent to the destination. So, what this strobe indicates? It is saying that a valid data is there on the data bus. So, you just accept that valid data. So, that information will be sent by the strobe signal. Okay. This is nothing but a control signal. Just uh, alerting the destination. It is alerting the destination unit that is the data is coming on data bus. So, that is the main thing of source initiated strobe. Now, coming to the destination initiated strobe so destination in it initiated strobe means so this is the source in the same way and this is the destination first the data is placed on the data bus but here the difference is in previous we are just source is initiating but here the destination is initiating the strobe then what it means let me write the timing diagram 
timing diagram. So first destination unit activates activates this uh, strobe pulse. So it's just first sending the strobe pulse. Uh, like information the source to provide data informing information to the source to provide data so here the destination is asking the strobe okay you first provide the data whenever it sees that strobe signal then the source will send the data on data bus so here the first the strobe is placed first the destination is initiating the strobe signal means it is saying that please place the data on data bus then the source will place the data on data bus the second the source unit responds to the strobe pulse by placing the valid data on data bus I hope you understand the difference between this. Source initiated strobe means strobe is nothing but a pulse, a signal by saying that uh, here in, in this source initiated it is saying that a valid data is placed on the data bus so just accept that valid data to the destination and here in destination initiated strobe first the destination is uh, activates the source by sending the strobe signal please place data on data bus so whenever it sees that the source unit place the valid data on data bus so first it indicates the strobe signal sends the strobe signals then the valid data will be there okay so this is the main difference between this so uh, let me tell the general example for this in the source initiated uh, suppose the first the data is placed on the data bus means uh, suppose the student is uh, a teacher given a notes to one of the student to write uh, that notes on the blackboard. So the data, a valid data is written on the blackboard. So whenever he completed that, next the teacher will come and explaining the concept. Okay, he is just explaining, he is uh, whatever uh, he written that, uh, he came to the class and he intimating that, okay, this is a valid data, you just copied that thing. So here the student writing the data on blackboard and the teacher is sending the strobe signal by it is a uh, so you just accept that uh, you just note down that uh, matter which is present on the blackboard so this is source initiated and destination initiated means the first the teacher is alerting the students that uh, i am writing some information on the blackboard so just you copied that valid data so first the teacher is initiating that after that she is writing the data on blackboard so that valid data will be uh, copying the students so it's just before and after that's it that is the only difference between the source initiated and destination initiated thank you